Let me tell you the tale of Alyssa Lou Hu. She has hair of gold and a heart of gold too. Her childhood was filled with the usual things, gymnastics and camping and loving to sing. Round about time she was no more than two, she couldn't do things other children can do. And round about time she had turned about four, her parents had knocked on a smart doctor's door. I am sorry, said Dr. Clark, sadly admitting, that there is no cure nor a treatment befitting this deadly disease, San Filippo Syndrome. So they did all they could do. They took her back home. Then they hugged her and prayed, and they hugged and prayed more. They puzzled and puzzled till their puzzlers were sore. There must, they said, must be something we can do to save our beloved Elissa Lou Hu. So as other kids played with their balls and their wagons, Elissa was fighting a very fierce dragon, a form of mucopolysaccharidosis. I'm telling you, friends, it is no bed of roses. It means many things that Elissa can't do. Walk, talk, sleep, play, sing, or read Dr. Seuss. She can't go to sleepovers, parties, or dances. She'll never have college or sweet young romances. And Alyssa is not all alone in her plight. There are other children who fight the same fight. There's Matthew and Karen and Ashley and John, Jason and Lindsay and Billy and Sean. There's Reza and Kirby and so many more who started life playing and talking galore till heparin sulfate built up in their brains and their bones and their organs, and there it remains. But Elizabeth, Randall, and Connor and Jess soon thought of a way to make sense of this mess. We will start a foundation, they cried out together, a life for Elissa to make the world better. Research for treatment or even a cure, hope for the future, that much is sure. We'll tackle this beast for Alyssa and others, the girls and the boys and their fathers and mothers. And that is what brings us to me and to you. You see, there is one thing Alyssa can do, and that, folks, is love. Yes, this girl has a soul that inspires us all to come out of our holes, to get busy and help her, to do what we can, to donate or volunteer, decorate, plan. To run or walk marathons, play in golf tourneys, jiggle at dance-a-thons, go on strange journeys. Street sales and basketball hoopla events, bag sales and penny carnivals under tents, police softball games and lemonade stands, and oh, all the things we have made with our hands. Bake sales and videos, shaving our heads, shaving our legs and wearing pink threads. Picnics, parades, gala dinners, and auctions. Cooking up gooey and scrumptious concoctions. Raffles and prizes and fancy sports cars. Uh, tickets to watch all our favorite sports stars. Famous celebrities also get bitten by Elissa's charm and soon they are smitten. Gala donations of wild generosity. Uh, simply homemade or fancy pomposity. Baskets and bags from the Easter boutique. Olé. Decor and fashions to keep us all chic. And all of this fun has amassed such a figure. Three million dollars. And it's growing bigger. Ninety-seven pennies from every one dollar go straight to making this mystery smaller. And making this Grinchly disease go away so kids like Alyssa can laugh, sing, and play. Good doctors Clark, Hopwood, Choi, and their teams are taking us closer to living our dreams. So thank you, Alyssa, from us one and all, the old and the young and the big and the small, the schools and the churches, the neighbors, the cops, the strangers, researchers, we all think you're tops. The raptors, the companies helping your cause, year in and year out without taking a pause, CFRB, Greenwood, Willowdale School, say thank you, Alyssa. You rock and you rule. For the fun that we've had and the love that we share and the good that we've done cause you made us all care. For the difference we're making that makes us feel proud 
and the insight and research your heart has allowed. You have brought us together, a good place to be. Now we are much bigger than he, she, or me. We are all part of you, and you are good to the bone. How could we leave you and your friends all alone? We're in this together, oh, the places we'll go. We'll laugh and we'll learn and we'll give and we'll grow. And it's all because you came to cure us, you see? God bless you, Alyssa, and thank you indeed.